this morning, but um, it's not. If you want to look at the church of game. Um, Maxim number 27 from Chateau Hartis. He has about 200 of these. Maxim number 27. Beyond beauty, a woman's attractiveness to men is partly a function of her feminine vulnerability or her ability to mimic feminine vulnerability. Corollary to Maxim 27. Men are turned off by overconfident, assertive, proudly self-sufficient women. Let's, you know, I always try to convey to people the first like three to six months that I was reading Chateau Hartiste, I, I spent mostly looking up words, not just um, game references, because there's a lot of game verbiage used in there. But a lot, sometimes, you know, you have if you're just bebopping through your life, you're not sure what feminine vulnerability means exactly. And um, so the definition of femo- feminine vulnerability is the act of sharing your inner self without expecting an external change. It's about being connected to your inner self and sharing your sacred and weaker parts. And this is what women do, you know, because don't let this throw you. This is these are the things that attract men to women, the, the essence of the attractiveness beyond just the physical beauty, you know, who they are and what they do. Um, a vulnerable woman is is and it's the exact opposite of men. A vulnerable woman is an unafraid to cry, to tell the truth, to appear weak, to be wrong, and to believe it worth the risk, even if she knows she may get hurt. Now, none of these things are accurate for a man, which gives you an idea of anything we see as the opposite is we we tend to be attracted to it. And that's that's what you see. Um, when I was reading, reading through here, I was like, I mean, I know guys that would rather, rather literally like die in a fire than ever admit that they were wrong about a decision. And, you know, that's, that's them. That's how they're made. They would rather just fall over. And that's where, you know, at the end of the day, when you hear like these girls that are career oriented, boss babes, fairly masculine. That's why I always say, you know, attorneys are the worst, worst women you could possibly be attracted to her to date because they're in a masculine um, um, environment and they start picking up those types of traits simply because they have to. Even the most paper pushing corporate approval, non-trial, non-going to court type attorney who's a woman at some point has to argue for herself. And none of that is attractive to men. And you can't do that for a decade or two decades and, and it not pick up unless you're really good at turning things off. So everything that a man is attracted to is the exact opposite of him, himself. And the more feminine women, and even guys talk about like going overseas, the women are just across the board more feminine. They haven't had the hardening effect of you know our culture in the U.S., Men are turned off by the exact opposite. And I think girls really struggle to wrap their head around this, that, you know, getting the college degree and running with it and being career oriented and I can do it on my own and strong, independent women really um, repels men. And a lot of it, like especially if you see some of these traits um, in an online profile from women, it's projection. These are the things they want. I make great money. I'm well traveled. Um, I've I've moved up in the corporate world. I own my own house. These are not things that men care about whatsoever. We care that you're not overweight, that you have long hair, that you're pleasant to be around. But for women, they're projecting. These are the things that they are looking for. So that's why you see that a lot of times. And and men are turned off by this overconfident, assertive, proudly self-sufficient women. And sometimes that gets lost in translation, especially um, moms raising daughters. And mom never worked outside of the house. And it kind of bothers her. So she's raising daughters that are self-sufficient, not realizing that it's really a, a bad situation. So that's there's a lot of factors going into this. But as um, Chateau drills it down. The things that attract us 
to women is their feminine vulnerability. They're, they're the basic essence. That's why the longer hair, the petite, the smaller they are. You know, all of these things make women more attractive to us. It's the exact opposite of us. Um, so maximum number 27, beyond beauty, a woman's attractiveness to men is partly a function of her feminine vulnerability or her ability to mimic feminine vulnerability. She can, just like when we run game, she can fake it till she makes it. There's a lot of girls that, you know, they may not deep down be um, as, as um, need you, need men as much as they show, um, but it works in their favor because we don't know any better and that's fine. Um, it, it attracts us to them. And corollary to maxim number 27, men are turned off by overconfident, assertive, proudly self-sufficient women. It really does push you away. And that's, and that's okay. This is how we're designed. And Chateau knew this stuff years ago before it really started hitting the mainstream. Um, let's see what else we have. So 